All right, folks, here we are again. I'm using a different camera. I don't know if you noticed. This review and the last review, it's a different one. It's, it might be better. I don't know. I didn't pay anything for it. So, I stole it! No. The wife is leaving the house, so I can be as crazy as I want to. No. But, today, I, my wife seen this on uh, uh, her Facebook, and we went and picked it up and got a couple more from them, too. Today, we have Modern Methods Brewing Company Kexmas Ale. And the reason it's uh, Kexmas is because the name, the, the guy's name, the owner's name is uh, something Kexmas, Ke Kechner? From a uh, thing, Mary Kectimus from Modern Methods Family to or yours. Artwork by Royce Umberger of Youngstown, Ohio. Instagram at Rolls. Royce Rolls. Oh, okay. 7.8% alcohol by volume. A Keck family recipe perfected in our homebrew garage. The homebrew garage. Kexmas Ale is a supremely drinkable amber ale, balanced without balanced out with Czech noble hops. We have. We add a festive blend of nutmeg, allspice, fresh great, grated ginger, ginger, ginger Rogers, and a ton of cinnamon sticks. Uh oh, the lingering holiday cookie sweetness will warm your soul and have you kissing Santa or Mrs. Claus. Look at that! Look at that! A big old tree on the front of that sucker. Look at that. Looks like an old um, one of them ugly Christmas Christmas. Shirts. I got my shirt on, but I'm going old school. It's MM Beer. You can get one at, your, at there. If you mention my name, he'll kick you out of the store. Uh, we're off the website. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's splattering everywhere. I'm getting it everywhere, man. I'm a mess. I ain't even drank today all yet. My first one. Albert Einstein didn't speak fluently until nine years old. His parents thought he was retarded. There you go. There you go. It's all gonna fit in there. Cause this is my pint glass, man. I broke my other one. That's a pretty color. It's a pretty color. So far, Modern Methods is doing a pretty good job with their beers. I've been liking a lot of them, except for one. And it was a coffee ale and I'm not too crazy on them. But I did do a beer review with uh, the Pat Blue Ribbon coffee thing. That was pretty good. It was more like a milkshake. Then you go to just Starbucks and you get this you know, I want four pumps of this and this and this and this. It's a milkshake. It's a morning milkshake. I'm not into that fancy schmancy crap. I'm not a beer snob either. I'll, I'll drink the hell out of almost anything. Dang, that's a pretty color. I like that color. It's one of my favorite colors in beers. That's a nice color. The head on that is pretty good. Bubbly? Oh, yeah, yeah, got some in there. This smells like a. Okay, I got the, the the cinnamon a little bit. It's not that bad. I don't mind certain certain times of the year. I like them. It's fine, but not all the time. It's like a Oktoberfest. I could say this is like an Oktoberfest. Got the cinnamon in there. It's not overpowering either. A lot of places just, you know, get a get a freaking whole cinnamon tree and, and soak it in there and marinate it all night. And I, I don't like that. This is this is kind of evenly balanced. Vir author Virginia Woolf wrote all of her books standing up. Who is Virginia Woolf? I don't know. I'm gonna take another drink. I got the hops now. I like how the hops come in and you get the bitterness from the hops after. I like that. And I think this this might be the first beer that I've had that. They, usually people don't put the hops in there enough. Now I wish they would put I wish they would put the ABV on it or IBUs on it. They got the ABV. I read that already. The IBUs. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tour this place someday. I'm going to go there. They have a bar. But the, the restaurant part isn't open. That's okay. Ugh. I'm going to go there. It's right down the road from me. I drive by it every dang day. So I have, to, I have to stop in there. And then on my other channel, 
I'll be doing, uh, I'll probably be doing a tour of Dave Grohl Alley behind there. He was, uh, one of, he was a drummer for Nirvana, and now he went on to be the lead singer for Foo Fighters. Willard Scott, weatherman Willard Scott, was the original Ronald McDonald, the very first one. Like Jack Parr. Who remembers Jack Parr? Was he was for, he, he, wait, was he before Johnny Carson? I remember Johnny Carson. I don't know who Jack Parr is. I don't know. That might have been wrong. I might be wrong. He might be for a different place. Different. I don't know. Anyways. Want to do a beer review with me? Right here. It only costs you the low cost of free. All you have to do is ask. Come on over. We'll do a beer review. I usually, I used to charge $5,000. Trevor in the area. We'll do a beer review. That's cool. I'm looking at that can. It's that's shiny. I like the, the the feel of the label. I think it's like a satin feel. I think there was a guy who brought some stuff into our work, and he says it's called real feel. And I don't know what it is. It's like a satin soft. Oh, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, modern methods. Oh. You know what that reminds me of that van? That reminds me of something the, the Griswolds on National New Lampoon's Vacation would drive. Something like that, with like 20 lights in the front. I remember that tank thing. That was one of the funniest. I remember when, on a Christmas, Christmas vacation or Christmas, when he had that, that special stuff he spraying on, that metal round sled, and he went flying down that hill, and it just, just kick it up and everything. I, I never, man, I haven't laughed so damn hard. Holy crap. I think I pooped a little when I, no, I, I, I laughing so hard at that. That was hilarious. Anyways, what would I rate this? For, for an Oktoberfest, I like the thing. I'll give this a B plus. I'll give it a B plus. I like it. You know, being a higher alcohol, I wouldn't drink any more than two or three. And... That's about it, you know, but, you know, it, it, it's a good beer. It's a, it's okay. I like it. I like the color a lot. That's one of my favorite colors for beers. So, um, one more. Al Capone's business card said he was a furniture dealer. Yeah. Yeah, he was dealing all right. All right, that's it. And remember, know when to say when. Know your limit, man. And cheers.